While many people think a willow is just a pond weed, I like the more romantic image of a graceful tree draped over the pond's edge. A lot of people think of weeping willows as probably the most familiar willow, um, but there's also the globe willow, which looks like a weeping willow, although it is a different species. Um, it looks kind of like a weeping willow in the fact that it's been trimmed up and has more of a globe shape to its form. There's also the corkscrew willow, which has contorted branches, which gives you a little interest throughout the winter time when it loses its leaves. The corkscrew willow is also popular to use in flower arrangements as the branches give some added interest. Now, if a willow tree is a little bit too big for your landscape, you might consider the dapple willow, which can be a large shrub. It is a hardy shrub here in Oklahoma from zones four to nine. Like the other willows, it does like wet conditions. However, it's better known for its foliage as it has variegated white and green foliage with just whispers of pink on the tips of it. Dappled willows can get quite large as a shrub, but you can maintain a smaller size by trimming them back. Willows have been used throughout the ages in ethnobotany. They were often used by apothecaries because the bark of the willow actually contains components, compounds that are similar to aspirin. They've also been used, their long branches have been used for weaving, both baskets and wattle fences. Now you might know if you've ever tried to create a wattle fence, when you put a live willow branch in the ground, sometimes it does root. Which kind of led us to a little experiment that we wanted to do. We were trying to root some willow ourselves and we left some in a glass water jar. Now this was exposed to all the sunlight. Of course willows like water so we thought this would be a good way to root them. This jar, we left them in water, but we put a bag over them to exclude the light. And you can see the difference in the amount of roots that we got on the two. This is both the curly willow and the dappled willow. Both seem to do better when we excluded the light. Cuttings are an asexual way of propagating a new plant. So if you've ever taken a cutting from a willow tree and put it in the ground to make a wattle fence, you may have unintentionally propagated that willow. Now the best time to take cuttings of willows is late fall and early spring. If you are like me and you like the romantic image of a willow tree, or perhaps want to make a wattle fence, go help your neighbor trim their willow. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.